Marrera Cabasso. Remember that name, you're going to hear it a lot more. This name is becoming synonymous with change and hope. He's making waves in Kenya, a country that is hungry for transformation. He's a lawyer, but not just any lawyer. He's the people's lawyer, a beacon of justice for the common man. Cabasso is known for speaking truth to power, for his fearless advocacy. He isn't afraid to call out the government, to challenge the status quo. Cabasso saw a need in his country, a gap that needed to be filled. People weren't aware of their rights, their voices were unheard. They didn't understand how the government worked, how policies affected their daily lives. So, Cabasso decided to do something about it. He started with himself, educating himself first. Using his voice, his words, he started small, talking to people, explaining their rights. Then he got bigger. His influence grew. Social media became his tool. He reached more people. His message resonated. Kenyans listened. They shared his vision. They started to see him as a leader, a voice for the voiceless, someone who understood their struggles, their daily battles, someone who could make a difference. Cabasso's journey wasn't easy. He faced criticism, he faced opposition, but he remained steadfast, but he never backed down. He knew his purpose, to educate his people, to empower them, to bring about change. His story is just beginning. Cabasso needed to reach more people. His mission was clear, but the path was not. He had a vision to spread knowledge and hope. He couldn't stay in one place. The message had to move, just like he did. He had to go to them, to the villages, to the towns, across the country. Every corner of Kenya needed to hear his voice. But how? Enter the modified Toyota Land Cruiser, a vehicle transformed into a beacon of change. This wasn't your everyday car. It was a statement, a bold declaration of purpose and innovation, a symbol of Cabasso's commitment to his mission, his dedication to reaching every soul. The Land Cruiser was built for this, tough, rugged, ready to face any challenge. It could handle the rough roads of Kenya. No terrain was too difficult, no distance too far. It could take Cabasso to the people who needed him most, to the remote villages where hope was scarce. But this wasn't just a car, it was a tool for transformation. It was a mobile classroom, a platform for change, a moving hub of knowledge and inspiration. The Land Cruiser was equipped with a powerful sound system. It could amplify his message far and wide. Cabasso could now address large crowds. His voice could reach hundreds, even thousands. His message could travel even further. It could resonate in the hearts of many. This Land Cruiser wasn't just a vehicle, it was a movement. It represented hope. It represented education. It was a symbol of progress. It represented a brighter future for Kenya. A future where knowledge and hope could reach every corner of the land. This special Land Cruiser, it wasn't cheap. Cabasso knew he couldn't do it alone. He needed the support of his people. So he turned to social media. He asked for donations. The response was overwhelming. Kenyans from all walks of life contributed. Farmers, teachers, students, business people. They all believed in Cabasso's vision. They saw the value in civic education. They understood that an informed citizenry is crucial for democracy. And they were willing to put their money where their mouth was. This wasn't just about the money. It was about something bigger. It was about Kenyans coming together, uniting behind a common goal. It was about taking ownership of their democracy. The Land Cruiser became a symbol of their collective power, a testament to what can be achieved when people unite for a cause. With the Land Cruiser ready, it was time to hit the road. Cabasso embarked on a nationwide tour, from the bustling streets of Nairobi to the remote villages. He was determined to reach every corner of Kenya, he held rallies, he organized workshops, he spoke to anyone who would listen, he broke down complex legal jargon into simple terms. He made sure everyone understood their rights and responsibilities as citizens. We must empower ourselves with knowledge, Cabasso declared. Knowledge is power, and with knowledge we can hold our leaders accountable. His message resonated with the people. They had never experienced anything like this before. A leader who came to them, who listened to their concerns, who empowered them with knowledge. Section 5. Amplifying the Message, the Land Cruiser's Powerful Sound System Imagine this, you're in a remote village surrounded by hills and valleys. The air is still, and the only sounds are those of nature. Suddenly you hear music, loud, clear music. It cuts through the silence, filling the air with vibrant energy. It draws you closer. You see a crowd gathered. People are moving towards the source, curious and excited. 
In the center, a modified Toyota Land Cruiser. It's not just any vehicle, it's a beacon of sound and message. On top of the Land Cruiser, a man with a microphone. His presence commands attention, his voice booming through the powerful sound system. That's Marrera Cavasso, a voice that resonates with authority and passion. The sound system wasn't just about volume, it was about clarity. Every word, every note, crystal clear, about reaching everyone in the crowd, ensuring that no matter where you stood you could hear perfectly, making sure no one missed a single word of Cabasso's message. His words were impactful, and the sound system made them unforgettable. It was about creating an experience, an event that people would talk about for days, a spectacle that would capture people's attention, something that would stand out in their memories, that would leave a lasting impression, a moment that would be remembered and cherished, the music, the sound system, the land cruiser, they all played a role in amplifying Cabasso's message. They were tools of connection and communication in taking his message to the far reaches of Kenya, bridging distances and bringing people together through the power of sound. Section 6. Understanding Civic Education, a Foundation for Democracy. What is civic education? Why is it so important? Civic education is about understanding your rights and responsibilities as a citizen. It's about how the government works. It's about holding your leaders accountable. In a democracy, civic education is essential. It empowers citizens to participate in the political process, to make informed decisions, to hold their elected officials accountable. Without civic education, democracy cannot thrive. People become apathetic. They don't vote. They don't hold their leaders accountable. That's why Marara Cabasso's work is so crucial. He's filling a critical gap in Kenya's education system. He's empowering citizens with the knowledge they need to participate in their democracy. Section 7. Kabasso's Impact Igniting Political Awareness Across Kenya Kabasso's nationwide tour had a profound impact on Kenya. People started to pay attention to politics. They started asking questions. They started holding their leaders accountable. His message resonated particularly with young people, they saw in Cabasso a different kind of leader, someone who wasn't afraid to challenge the status quo, someone who was fighting for their future. Cabasso's work wasn't just about educating people. It was about inspiring them. It was about showing them that they have the power to bring about change. He ignited a spark of hope in the hearts of many Kenyans, a belief that a better future is possible, that their voices matter, that they can make a difference. Section 8. Challenges on the Road Navigating Bureaucracy and Resistance Cabasso's journey wasn't without its challenges. He faced opposition from some quarters. Politicians who felt threatened by his message. Bureaucrats who tried to obstruct his work. There were attempts to silence him, to discredit him, to stop his message from reaching the people. But Cabasso refused to be intimidated. They can try to silence us, Cabasso declared, but they cannot silence the truth. They cannot silence the voice of the people. Cabasso's resilience in the face of adversity only strengthened his message. It showed the people that he was fighting for them, that he wouldn't back down, that he was willing to pay the price for their freedom. Section 9, The Bigger Picture, Civic Education, and Kenya's Future. Cabasso's work goes beyond politics. It's about building a better future for Kenya, a future where all citizens are informed and empowered where they can hold their leaders accountable. Civic education is an investment in Kenya's future. It's about creating a more just and equitable society, a society where everyone has a voice. Cabasso's message is simple yet powerful. The future of Kenya is in our hands. Let us educate ourselves. Let us engage in the political process. Let us build the Kenya we want. His words are a call to action, a reminder that change starts with each and every one of us. Section 10. Inspiration to Act Cabasso's Call to Engage in Democracy Cabasso's story is an inspiration to us all. It shows us that one person can make a difference. That even in the face of adversity we can stand up for what we believe in. Cabasso's message is clear. Get involved, educate yourself, hold your leaders accountable. Your voice matters, your actions matter. Don't be afraid to speak truth to power. Don't be afraid to demand better from your leaders. The future of your country depends on it. Be the change you want to see in the world. Be like Morera Cabasso. Section 11, A Legacy in the Making, Cabasso's Enduring Impact on Kenya. Morera Cabasso's legacy is still being written, 
but one thing is certain, he has left an indelible mark on Kenya, he has awakened a generation, he has given voice to the voiceless, his work will continue to inspire generations to come, his courage, his determination, his unwavering belief in the power of the people, these are the qualities that will shape the future of Kenya. Kabaso's story is a testament to the power of hope, the power of education, the power of one person to make a difference. His legacy will live on in the hearts and minds of the Kenyan people.